We've been working on the Pluto uh, camera for probably uh, six or seven months now. We're restoring all of the parts, and uh, which means every single nut and bolt gets worked on that's able to be removed. And since the beginning, there was a lot of debate as to what color the tube is supposed to be. It also has a large metal frame that holds it up, and there's some debate about that as well. In the late 90s, it was uh, painted kind of a dull, rust-colored primer paint, and uh, it was impossible to clean because it was kind of dry, it held on to dirt. So we needed to paint it with something else, and uh, we all had our ideas about what, what colors we wanted it. Uh, some people uh, were concerned about the historic accuracy, others were uh, concerned about how pretty it looked. It wasn't until David Dvorkin came out from the Smithsonian, and uh, I showed him all of the parts that we were working on, and I had asked him the very same question about, about the colors that it should be. And we talked about all the options. And he, uh, once he saw some silver paint peek out from underneath the black paint, which I pointed out, he almost did one of these and said, that looks very telling. And I thought that was, that was good. So we, we talked about that. And he was OK with the silver paint at that point. There was no physical evidence of orange paint anywhere. But there was physical evidence of, evidence of silver paint. Um, unfortunately, most of the parts have been overpainted by now, so I can't show you. But these parts right here, this is the bracket that holds the plate holder. And this fits on the back of the tube, uh, where the plate holder fits in here. And on the inside of this, and on these little wooden parts, you can see this was painted black in the late 90s. And underneath the black paint, where it ran, because this was all assembled when it was painted, was, was this silver lead paint, which is the same paint, as far as I can tell, that the uh, Clark telescope uh, was painted originally. So this, was, this is what we were aiming for in terms of color. Once we saw this and once we talked to David Dvorkin, we were okay with this. And we thought any reference to orange paint probably didn't really qualify because um, this seems to be an original color. Things are going really well and pretty soon I think the Pluto camera will be ready for the public.